good morning to you all i think it's lunchtime but to me it's morning because you know i first went downstairs to work out it was uh, very not excruciating but at least if i i'm trying to commit for the 150th time at least if i you know you know you know what i'm saying i keep dropping out of that race but welcome to the board of the batu my name is isabel and i am your local witch doctor and this right here is your time your reading hello tribe hello tribe so what can i say about the bantu hmm we've lost a lot of our metaphysical power therefore a lot of our physical wealth to foreign religions like christianity and islam i am not one to attack either or because our ancestors our ancestors and our god he allows us to experiment with all these other religions because at the end of the day we come home yeah we go home regardless of who we pray to and what we are doing at the end of the day we come back to him however um navigating bantu territories has become extremely extremely difficult because the the influence of christianity in particular not so much islam but the influence of christianity in, in particular has brought division among the people instead of unity it has brought division so yeah we look forward to the day when the bantu no longer no longer bow to christianity like the europeans they've given up on that and we hope that the bantu with time they will give up on it as well but we're still here as we were before as we are now we will still be there in the future waiting for the lost flock to come home i saw that i have um competition i have competition the nylons <laughs> i was on tiktok and i noticed that the nylons were awake awake and about their business so i better do my business with a determination as well so this is your board and i'm going to take time to just do something that is killing me and that i've been wanting to do let me time it and that is the future of the united states of america i think i've tried to read this three or four times and i gave up on it but while i still have lots of psychic energy i am so gonna do it and i hope that i get the right questions because this is my investigation you're just here to watch i always say this to my friends when i'm going through a metaphysical investigation i always say you guys you're just here to watch like don't disturb me i'm doing my thing you're just here to watch so the future of the united states i don't know how long this video is gonna be okay i don't know but i'm just gonna since I saw the Nazi and I saw the blue-eyed people Since I saw the Nazi and I saw the blue-eyed people I really want to know the rot and how deep it goes Did it start with the Nazis in 1942-43 Or was there always a plan B by the Nazis in 1933-32 Do you know what I am saying? and yesterday i was talking to my friend and we were in agreement that the nazi they never apologized for the holocaust they never apologized to the jews they never said we are sorry this was a horrible horrible thing to do they never said it which means that they still believe in it and they still will do it again and again and again so anyway the future of the united states let me stop talking and let me open the board the board of the bantu the people who have been through it all and then some. Today, this board is dedicated to the Bantu who were stolen from their lands in the dead of the night and carted off to the shores of Africa and sold. This board is dedicated to those who ended their lives in the oceans and those who took the whip the grape, the raping, the abuse, the brutality of slavery. Today, this is your board. This is your board because honestly speaking, this is your story. Today, it's your story. The future 
of America, the United States of America. Because we know that when America sneezes, the whole world catches a cold. Yep, yeah, your board, loved ones, is now open. Okay. Again, I, you're not here. You're just, this is voyeurism in action because this is more for me than for any of you all, okay? I'm following that Nazi energy, but not really. I'm just thinking that if I look at the future of America overall, like the future of America, I'm bound to see some strings that I can start pulling from this end from the present then i'll be able to know who exactly to you know chase after america 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 okay so this is very interesting of course this is this is a new america that I, I i i guess this is basically native americans first it started with the you know that there was okay so first the u.s flag came but it was on it on a long flagpole and then it was held by caucasians and then the people got darker and they became hispanic then they became native american then the circle was complete right so basically with that message america is telling us what we saw that eventually the land will return to its people it may not be right now it may be in a hundred years or 200 years but return to its people it will i.e those in the halls of power those will be walking the hallways of power will be the earth of the country instead of the air of the country Basically, colonizers and all those who came with colonizers are the air. The earth of the country are those who genetically are rooted to this. And it is my honor, my honor and absolute humility that a Native American elder is the one who is stepping forward to talk. So this is going to be so good, at least for me. I don't know about you all. Okay. <laughs> so allow me to do my thing. Okay. I'll be back with you. We were greeting him, you know, he deserves respect. We were greeting him and he said, we are planted to this earth like the roots. You may cut the stalk, but the root will remain. And one day that root will sprout, it will become a seedling and then a plant and then a fruit and it may be cut down again but it will continue to grow okay and they show you me that it says that is who we are the end of us is the end of this land this land needs us we are its words we feed it, we acknowledge it, we protect it, we raise it, we create, we live. 
home. He's asking me why I stopped smoking. <laughs> and I said it wasn't good for my health. And he says we could have shared a pipe. And I said, no, no, boyfriend. <laughs> no, no, no. This is healthier, better. I'm taking better care of myself. It says agreed. Even though there is no need for the one who created you already knows when you're coming home. So basically you are saying I can drink myself to sleep. Or he says anything, anything at all. Your journey is still the same. Your road is still the same. It does not matter what you do. The end result is the same. Okay. Now I'm going to ask him what my end result is and then I will get back to what I want to ask him. <laughs> okay. So what is my end result? You're going to climb a mountain. and get to the tallest tree you're going to hold the tree like hug it you're going to hug the tree and then you will be no more so basically i'm going to the mountain i am climbing i'm going to make it to the mountain top it says yes but you will have nothing to make it down he said I'll, I'll, I'll die <laughs> okay he says that if that is what you choose to call it but we choose to see it as the disbursement of energy into the atmosphere in order for it to become one with nature okay would you like to, the future of the United States of America? He does not know it as such. He knows it as the grazing lands of the people. The Yeah. <laughs> with click clicks he, he the eek 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 okay this is gonna take forever it's okay let me just say it starts with an i okay it starts with an i okay and then the way it is pronounced though for me it's like click click but maybe not for them but it starts with an i and that is where he is from that's his nation so he says they are the roaming grounds of the and they are the grazing you know lands and um the land where their men pleased their women and where they lived with nature and the cycle of nature the cycle of the, uh, the the seasons when you know the seasons and where they roamed free but within limitations within you know within a certain structure and he said he does not recognize the white man he does not recognize his slave that would be the black man he does not recognize that so what kind of future do you want me to tell you because to me there is no future to me the future died 500 years ago and this is a travesty okay can you describe the travesty for me then <laughs> okay 
It says you're very sassy. Yeah, yeah. Many people say that. Yeah. Can you describe the the, the future? It says throw your shells. Okay. So now we're gonna throw the shells. We're gonna see the travesty the good gentleman is talking about. Show me the future of America. Show me the future of America. Show me the future of America. Okay. I think I have the year that he is starting, but I just want to be sure. 2025. 2025. Seriously. Oh yeah, we're going to continue to be bored by lack of creativity. There is zero creativity coming out of the United States, which will drop its influence index to the ground. Like, gone, gone, gone. America financially it's going to be hard for the country itself and for its people but there is an underground group of people more like the criminals okay the criminal the criminals are going to make out very well while the normal people are going to struggle the struggle is not too much though i mean you know, let me just say, because he has a little bit of spite against the, this America. It's not too much, you guys. It's a little bit. There is, um, you know what I'm saying? It's not too much. There is struggle, but it's not too much, right? It is, um, let me put it this way. 2025 is not a good year to buy a house unless if you've been saving for 50 years and you've got everything your t's and your dots your dots crossed right it's not a good place to buy it's not a good time to buy a house but that's not what i'm looking for here however i'll let him take his time okay the five the leaders of, of america in the future please give me one who makes the biggest difference Please give me one to make it. It says you know him already. I kind of knew that. You know him already. He is the one they have chosen. We have not chosen him, but we accept him. He makes the biggest difference, not to other people, but to our children. So you do not like him there is nothing to like about a man who is bitter because he has not come to terms with the experiences of his life however we are spiritually helping him pushing him into the position that he wants for He can only get stronger and in his strength, he will protect us. We have been unprotected and suffering. He will protect us. Okay. So guys, Shells are saying exactly what he is saying. He is going to bring back the Native American community. I mean, right now they are all scattered, disjointed, and disloyal to each other, if there's such a word. They, 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 they really don't like each other. They, they're not about liking each other. So, you know, they are all over the place, yeah? But he is going to unify them, create a force between them. He will be the one who creates that driving force right so okay we already know who this guy is he looks like people are like okay what happens 2137 new engineering new transform of transportation Form of like um, I know this is crazy. Cars that are like 
sauce I like. They are like flight saucers. Like somebody's really gonna make like a flight saucer just because that's what we were using for aliens landing. But anyway, they, those are the sort of cars that will be in the United States, and they they won't be on the ground. They won't be on the ground. They'll be above. So like some people will be on the ground, but some people will be flying above, like highway in the air that's 2137 a highway in the air that's what they will be doing so this has something to do with this president who i just asked for right is he says no there will be another one after him an innovator a technological wonder ah he says the ages of the presidents of America are going, they're going to become younger and younger. So the, is this one right after the Hitler-like? He says no. After the Hitler-like. Is this why do you call him that? I said, well, that's what I call him. <laughs> he says after him, there will be a they will be another one who is intersex we may not know that he is intersex but there will be another one who is intersex i was wondering what he was trying to tell me who is intersex and um they will usher in many technological advances because america will suffer a period of isolation because of the hitler like guy he says not just because of him because of the policies of the country that is called america they will suffer isolation he's a really heavy he's a really heavy energy is a really heavy energy i'm not joking so you know what when i usually take a break i ask a question and then i throw it on the board and then i'll come back because he's really sitting on me that's so heavy okay he says let me first tell you about the caliber of america's leaders going forward they will no longer be real politicians they will be more of the trump variety they will be coming from the field of entertainment the world of entertainment because people's attention span is very very small and he's it's literally saying this and because the attention span is very very small the people will get fucked all the way to that <laughs> The, people, the rights of the people of America will be eroded. At first, they won't see the erosion. And then it will be more and more and more until they see the erosion. There will be riots. What year is this? 2085. Please remember that you pass it on to your grandkids and your great grandkids there will be riots there will be what are the riots for freedom why what's being impaired people will be designated to jobs from birth therefore the by 2085 it says yes there's a speeding up of time between 2024 and 2085. So people will be designated jobs from birth, which will enable the wealthy to hold on to the prime cushy positions. So 2087, this is when the technological intersex president becomes 
president and he brings with him scientific he says psychological okay scientific and psychological advancement i'm taking a break because my head is rolling back and forth rolling all over the place it's not pleasant to be me right now so i'm asking a question okay what kind of scientific changes will be seen in the united states of america gender like like gender like you can change your gender but not the way it's done now you can have your gender changed in utero scientifically you can have there will be a lot of biological enhancements and biological changes and they said in the end of cancer okay so we'll leave it here Okay, before I go, because next when I come back, I'll be doing... Okay, this week I started looking for my biggest struggle, a home. And I've, decided, I've realized that my brother gave me the best, the best, the best advice. He says, you know what you need to do? You just need to step somewhere for one week and you just need to say, this is home. I did it when I moved to this province. When I walked into this province, I just said okay this is it this is home but for my permanent home my forever home where i will be physically healthy and happy i've had to do the same thing and this week i finally did it i finally picked a province in africa i picked a country i picked a province I, i'm trying to pick a city but i've just said to myself i have to be stubborn about this i mustn't let anything come my way and change my mind more often than not sometimes we just need to be stubborn about a thing a person a place because you know there are so many variables and so many things that can go wrong in any freaking situation so many but we just have to be stubborn sometimes and i am starting my stubborn train now so be kind to each other be kind to yourself. Be gracious to you. You are that important. You truly, truly are that important. Once in a while, be stubborn. Stand your ground. Even if it looks dark out there, and even if it looks, it looks like you're the only one who can see what others cannot. Thank you so much for joining me. For those who are going to be joining me on Patreon, I'll see you there for the future of America part two. But right now, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break. Bye, guys.